いつくになります Yes, I'm going to try. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. It's me, Shogo, and I have my cameraman today is Younger Brother TK. Yay! Nice. So, the two of us here, we're going to be taking you to Tai no Tai. It's one of our most recommended seafood restaurants in Kyoto. In this channel, we'll be introducing hidden gems in Kyoto. So, if you're a Kyoto lover planning to come to Kyoto someday, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. So, let's go. Tai no Tai Karasuma is a restaurant in Kyoto where you can enjoy carefully selected fresh local fish and matured fish. Matured fish is a much tastier sashimi than regular fish because of its dense and rich flavor. However, because matured fish requires a high level of skill and preparation, this restaurant is one of the few in the Kansai region where it can be served. What does matured fish actually taste like? Let's find out. I want to step those steps here, so. Alright, we got our seats. So we need to order the drinks first. Let's take a look. This is the non-alcoholic cocktails. This is peach, orange, salty lemon and such. And it seems, well, of course though, it's pretty obvious, but the seafood goes great with Japanese sake. So they actually have a very abundant menu of Japanese sake here. They actually have this graph here telling you which taste it belongs to, you know. So even if you don't know too much about sake, you'll understand what kind of sake it is. What kind of taste it has, you know. And over here must be their grand menu. Oh, is that a, is there a milk bin? I don't know. This must be their drink menu, main drink menu. Whoa, this is really, I love the design. It has sours, chew high, highballs, gin, beer, shochu, Japanese sake, plum wine, some fruit wine, soft drinks, and over here, wine, regular wine. Uh, so there's quite a lot actually. Oh, it says they have a lot of types of sake and also the hidden sake of the owner of this restaurant. Oh, that's interesting. So now that we've ordered our drinks, it's time for us to take a look at the food menu here. This is their recommendations for today, Honjitsu no Osusume. They said this moriyawase, it's kind of like a mixture of their recommended fish today is one of their most recommended ones. Oh yeah, sea urchins, TKG, raw eggs and rice. Oh, these all looks really good. And over here, oh, I love the design. This is the grand menu for the meal. This is the meibutsu with the, the sashimi, okay. So this is the tempura with the vegetables and fish. And over here are the appetizers. There's actually a lot. <laughs> There's so many to choose from, wow. And TK and I love seafood, actually. Oh, sashimi, sushi, everything. So these are some fried ones. Okay, sweets and desserts for your last meal and also the, the sweets here. And there's actually plenty you can choose from, so this is really fun to take a look at. They brought us some appetizers and also our beer. All right. Take it here, I'll pour some for you. Then. Alright, here's guys. Ah, it's delicious. It's uh, June right now in Japan. It's getting pretty hot now, so beer tastes even better. Hello, sir. 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 H
half-boiled eggs with the salmon eggs and also the sea urchins on it. This is so luxurious. Mm. Mm. This is wild. <laughs> wild and mild and mild. Because, <laughs> you know, the half-boiled eggs are really mild and it has a lot of flavor. But that is the same with the sea urchins, also the salmon eggs. Three really strong, mild, and flavor like, combined together in this small dish, you know. All right, so Tiki, tell us what you think about that. The appetizer there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get to enjoy all three flavors, right? Yeah. Three favorites in a row, mm. in one dish, right? So, 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 so. Alright then, Tiki, let's have some of that samurai oyster. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead, try it out. Mm -hmm. What is it like? I mean, like Hiroshima is really famous for oysters, right? Yeah, I mean, you probably ate a lot of oyster before in your life, so. Okay, okay. That's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Hakuroka. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people who don't like um, oysters too, so. Well, that's good. Perfect. Yeah. All right, my turn to enjoy the samurai oyster. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. I totally understand what my brother says. Mmm. As my brother said, there's the really creamy part, and there's this part of the oyster that's a little bit bitter, right? The small part of it. The bitterness doesn't come. The usual bitter part, that it is there, but it doesn't taste bitter at all. So you just enjoy the creamy part, and that's it. It's just the good part. So, the kaisen yukke. I love it came it in this, I don't know how to call it. Is this a, what is it, a container? <laughs> yes. So I just already broke the, uh, the egg inside it. There's so many different kinds of fish in it. Got the top one. I think this one's a cod. Mmm. Really good. The UK actually, of course, has the, the raw egg on top of it, right? It also has sauce over it, too. And the sauce is completely different from the soy sauce or the ponzu and the salt we have over here. So you get to enjoy a different kind of taste of the sashimi. So this is really good, yeah. TK, it's your turn to eat the karage octopus. <laughs> it doesn't look like it at all. <laughs> well, they're telling us it's rare, all right? Now go ahead, try it out, yeah. <laughs> exactly, it's <laughs> so soft, yeah. Mm. <laughs> is it karage at all? <laughs> it looks no. almost raw. <laughs> あげ物というかは、いや、平穏調理の。あ、そう。生ではないけど、火が入ってるけどめっちゃ柔らかくて美味しいみたいなやつやと思う。多分ポン酢と大根もしかな。いや、間違いです。すごくさっぱりしてて
but this octopus has the taste of the sauce inside of it, which means they definitely deep fried it, so the taste would go, the flavor would go into the octopus. So that is the part that's a little bit different, which is really, really good. so everyone, and what we were looking forward to today the most is here, the sashimi set. These are the moments that I'm so grateful I was born a Japanese person. <laughs> you know, I love cods because they're really chewy. It's the kind of fish where the more you chew, the more taste you get, right? But especially this cod was super thick, so you get to chew a lot and there will be more flavors coming out, you know? So that was a very, very good piece of cod sashimi, you know? Awesome. And I can't believe there's so much more, so... Let me try out one more of that. I want to try out some of the Ummaguro. The song is tuna. It's great too. I'm going to go for the soy sauce again. It's a type of sashimi that melts inside your mouth. Yep. Again, because it's so thick, the melting procedure takes a long time. And during that melting procedure inside your mouth, you get the flavor you know, for a really long time. Alright, your turn, DJ. おお、何がアンパクトレ。ちょっと好きだと面白いので、分からんけど、アンパクポン酢みたいな。いやいや、オッケー、ゴーアイゴーアイ。いただきます。うん。これは多分、いや、そんなチョイスは正解やったと思う
And I chose back over here by C. Shikari, and the second one is in Kyoto, Kanagawa. So we're looking forward to the sake too. Enjoying sake together with the sashimi is an awesome combination. So we definitely want to do this today. So we're looking forward to the sake to come too. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see it? The colors are completely different. This one looks more white. This one looks more yellow actually over here. Because they're two completely different tastes, right? So yours is Kudoki Jose. That's a really funny name. <laughs> yeah. Looks very sukiri. Ah. Arakichi desu. It's true. It's true. Sukiri してますよ. Ano, ato aji no a mari ko nokora nai kanji de. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Don't burn. Wari. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Because yeah. if you go for the milder, the sweeter kind, it kind of like, you know, stays inside your mouth, the fragrance. Yeah, I understand what you mean. Yeah. This one is like, you drink it, it's gone. <laughs> Fresh. Right? Or refreshing. Right? Ooh. Yeah. My turn then. So this one on the menu is said, Shikari. I don't even know how to say that in English, actually. Ah, oh, I love this one. Kyoto made sake. Wow. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. This sake is a little bit scary because it's so easy to drink. Remember, I chose the shikari and the sweet, right? Not dry, so it's easy to drink and it has a very strong taste, which means it's really good, right? So it's super, super easy to drink and if I didn't know that this was sake, like Japanese sake, like a really strong alcohol beverage, I would probably like just like keep on drinking, not notice that I'm drunk. Okay, so we have finished eating and drinking everything. So, let's go with that. Let's go with that. It's time for us to go. So we just got out of Itai no Tai. It was an awesome experience starting from the interior, also the friendly staff, the delicious food, everything was great. I think the only problem would be for now is that they don't have an English menu. But um, again, they have the recommendations and you can just ask them for the recommendations too. So it won't be a problem for you to order, definitely. And once, you know, tourism comes back to normal after all the COVID-19 ends, I think they'll definitely be preparing an English menu for you. So that wouldn't be a problem either. And I know that sashimi is definitely one of the things that you're looking forward to eating in Japan, right? In Kyoto too. So right here is definitely the best place to go. Even if you're wondering, oh, where should I go to eat sashimi? This is the perfect place for you to come. Okay? How was it for you, TK? What was this experience like? もちろんその料理の味とかお酒の種類とかもいいんだけどやっぱ店の雰囲気とか内装がすごく。綺麗だなと思いましたね。やっぱ。うん。これがエグザクトですね。ベリーベリーディフェンスタイプのサーケ。エンドエスペシャリーリーズイージーとオーダーバイカズでハーブでスペシャルグラフデア。イフィスイズ